Good morning, everyone. It's 11.45 on the clock, which actually was my time of birth at night. So 11.44 to 45. Let's go ahead and take a deep breath. Actually, when I went to, when I was thinking about going to bed last night, it was, I looked at the clock too, it was 9.18, which is my birthday. So that's very interesting. That's a message for us all. Let's go ahead and take a deep breath. of love and blessings. I am Om Ha. I am Om Ha. I am Om Ha. And so it is. Hope everyone's doing really well today. Happy Mother's Day to everybody. I act my my son called me at 10:38, and while he was talking to me, four deer came across the street to say hello to me. They were watching me. I was trying to be very still in my house so they wouldn't see me when I was trying to take a picture of them. And then my friend just texted me to say Happy Mother's Day at 11:38, and 38 is the Queen of Cups, so very much the theme of Mother's Day and that kind, loving, intuitive person the mother is. So we have the 4D, 5D, 60 read and the twin flame read today. So here is the union read. Again, for those of you not familiar, the 4D, the 5D, the 60. The left column is the feminine, the right, the masculine, the center is the bridge between them. The incoming divine feminine, the outgoing divine masculine, the underlying energies and the closing energies. And that's the Syrian Starseed deck, as well as the uh, Twin Flame read, which is here. This is the main read. And then the clarified read in front of you is the seven deck read here. Okay. And I have to show you my, my lovely deer across the street. I don't know how well you can see this on my other thingy here, but. They're walking. So this one, they're looking, they're starting to look right at us. Here, this one's better, I think. I'm trying to make it close up. Anyway, those are the deer across the street from my home this morning for Mother's Day. Um, that was two of four of them. And so let's get right into the Union Read. So, so far we have like happy birthday, like the message from the universe saying it's my birthday, it's Mother's Day, right? That same type of energy. Um, we, I started this union read at 511 and that's the five of the Hierophant, the 11 of Justice. Again, it's the four, five, six D for the Divine Feminine, Divine Mass and for today's energy. Today is the ninth and happy birthday to Raya. And we have the underlying energies of the Queen of Cups, which I didn't even notice that. So very much the theme of the day, this is the Queen of Cups. The central energy is the Three of Swords and the Eight of Cups at the end. Um, also, before I start, I don't want to forget this. The energy of the, the underwater pressurized room, you know how like if you're going into, into an underwater vessel, anything that's double doored like a spaceship where you have to go in one door and then um, even like a hospital, you know, we have to go in double doors um, when you're trying to keep the air clear. But it was coming up regarding the water pressure here. And it was so strange this morning. I just had a, a, a new um, garbage disposal put in recently. And this morning, it's been working fine. And then I went in this morning and all of a sudden I put the garbage disposal on, which works fine but then it's like spitting up all the water back. It's like, you know, the scary movie where there's something in the drain and it's, and it's, and it's throwing it back up in your face, literally like tossing it across the room. 
So it's kind of like that Linda Blair uh, projectile energy there. But the underwater pressure room coming up here, where you keep that sealed off by double doors as to not let the, um, en the outside energies creep in, which the sealed container came up um, yesterday or the day before as well. So that energy is still around. And so we have the Queen of Cups here, living it up, perhaps in separation as the storm comes in, to then walk away with searchlights over the ocean or your emotions after the Queen of Cups in the falls or intense intensity and release, the Queen of Cups in the falls and Batman heading over the mounds to the water to meet. And remember, that's where the land meets the sea is the feminine meeting the masculine. The incoming divine feminine here is the higher self, the two of pentacles and the ten of wands. The higher self or Pisces energy deeply submerged into water. The archway, the divine of the archway here, the divine feminine here, the dark side of the moon meets northern lights or the rainbows around the sun. Like the picture I just posted. Surrendering to the power of the universe, where the land meets the sea, both close to shore with pink aura, as the third emerges from the dungeon with one flame in hand, leaving the nine of wands or the wounded warrior behind, from dark to light, working hard to merge their polarities. In the 4D, we have the ten of cups, the king of cups, and the nine of swords. The divine feminine happy family supported by the rainbow bridge, where four are the rainbow and six above it to support the flyer above the falls or the fray, the lookout tower in pyramid form where it's lonely at the top. The divine mask and suffering and silence are dealing with their sister below ground, covering their eyes or hiding in the woods where it is, and right there where I was reviewing the read, the deer came um, across the street. <laughs> right as I said that, hiding in the woods. And that was at 11.07 to 11.08 this morning. Bridging with the King of Cups and unconditional love, reflecting 10, which is a turn for the better, the great wheel, equaling 9 plus 1. Un unconditionally loving family with room for one more. So in the 5D here is the Five of Swords, and the Three of Swords, and then the 53 coming up here, which is the Messenger of Truth, and the Ace of Cups, the Divine Feminine stretching and juggling at the same time, juggling three with two more to add in on the, on the journey, atop a rock in the midst, the mists of Avalon, in the Emerald Order, or Algae Water coming up, the Divine Masculine with an outpouring of love, emerging from deep emotions, projecting self-love. And again, that could be that projectile vomiting, right? So that's deep-seated energy. Literally, some people could be projectile vomiting because they're literally like gutting a fish. You know, you're taking out the deepest, most darkest energies and they're coming up with a bang, you know? So um, self-love, spiritual love, and new love, all gushy and sloppy wet kisses. And again, the energy of Mother's Day coming up. Bridging with a flash of light of healing and forgiveness. The tadpole or the tadpool, maybe you have a small little pool. The tadpole or the tadpool rising above the circus life, looking down on their family and the divine feminine exuding love all over his plan to suffer. And I was just getting suffrage at city. So we have 533, which is the hierophant and the 33 of a Christ vibration. The seven of wands, standing up for yourself, taking the high ground. The 6D of the Hanging Man, the Six of Pentacles, and the Two of Swords. The Divine Feminine hanging with a right knee block or inflamed, meditating for messages to share about anger. The Divine Maslin knowing and floating on air with the greatest of ease, the girl no longer on the flying trapeze. Balancing the beam or jetty rocks, partly exposed but unaware and doesn't care. And I'm getting something about blocks. Balancing the beam or jetty or rocks, partly exposed but unaware and doesn't care about the blocks. And that could be blogs as well. 
bridging with sharing or being fair and balance, not giving too much or too little and go wash your hands first. The divine feminine is the 10 of cups in a pyramid scheme to get to the top and hang out and or retire early or see the views hovering over the falls and Mount Everest or hanging by a leg or a thread. The divine masculine is hiding, suffering in silence or dealing with their sister to come out with a splash. Surprise in 5D, but in 6D, they already knew, boo hoo. The bridge here is the king of cups in separation and settling out. And then the outgoing divine mouse is the king of wands, reflection and the king of swords, the shaman, the hermit and the king of swords or Virgo or old man mediating fire and ice as one of them leaves and hugs, oh, I'm sorry, um, mediating fire and ice as one of them leaves things very neat, probably the Virgo man of steel here coming up. And by the way, the energy for today is eight, or today's the ninth, but yesterday was the eight of strength. Today is the hermit of the nine. Yesterday was the 18, the nine, 18, 18 is written 18 slash nine, which is the moon. And then today is the sun and the hermit. So we have 542, which is the Hierophant and the Two of Cups. And the overall number for the Union read was 56, which is the Two of Swords, being in your knowing and keeping your energy clear. The horizontal, uh, the horizontal pillars coming up as 16, 9, and 31, which is the Tower, the Hermit, and the Five of Wands. The vertical pillars were coming up as 2, 10, 15, 9, 12, and 8, which is the high priestess, the wheel, devil, hermit, hanging man, and strength. So the message is coming up as suddenly the hermit is conflicted about their knowing. And the high priestess or secret destined with the devil, hermit, hang man, dance of knowing and keeping to themselves. Okay, so then we have the twin flame read here, which was at 555, the Syrian starseed deck was cut and dealt. All right, so a lot of change with the 555. And then we have at 605, which is the lovers and the hierophant, is uh, of crystals came up. So again, of being Christ-like, of crystals, or being uh, of cry stalls, or, the, or on the cry path, which is the purging path. Um, and again, why stalls were coming up here, right? The why in the road is the path. And then um, Entour came in, E-N-T-U-R-E, as well as um, Fort, but with double Fs. Like, so that's like Fort Knox, but also fast forward. And we'll get into that, those definitions in a second. At 618, I completed the clarifications of the lovers and 18 is the moon. And then we had Starseed and Reason as the main majors in the read. Starseed is the Fool, Reason is the Emperor. The Fool and the Emperor, you know, kind of opposite energies. And then we had Alchemy, or the um, Temperance card, Strength and Shadow, which is the Devil, after the read. Three Cups, Three Swords, Two Pentacles, and One Wand here. So mostly Cups and Swords here. And usually with Cups come Swords, because you get into your head about your emotions but very heart-based or intellectually and heart-based together. And then we have the Page of Swords, the Queen of Wands, and the King of Cups in the read. Before the read was the Page of Wands, the Queen of Cups, and the Page of Pentacles. And after the read is the Knight of Wands. We had double ones, double twos, and double fives, the Justice, the Fool, and the Truth, the Ace of Swords. And we also have the 12 of the Hangman, 25 of the Knight of Wands, one, two, three, jump, 3, 4, which is the 8 of Wands, 45, which is the 5 of Cups, and then 58 of the 4 of Swords, which is the connection in the 5D. Um, the code line was all about the number 8 from 5 and 3. So again, 5 and 3 is the messenger of truth. It's also um, considered the catapult energy, which is like that projectile vomiting that I was just talking about, and my sink vomiting at me. <laughs> and, then we, and that could be, um, yeah, verbal vomit. Um, so adventure came up and effort on the code line, but adventure was split up into ADV, which can be advertising. Um, and then end tour and chore. 
and then effort came up as E and then fort. So the message is coming up here. Um, the other number that came up was 3321, which is the Christ vibration and the 21 of the world, which is completion. A really big completion of a cycle, right? We have um, uh, monkey see, monkey say, right? But monkey doesn't do here. They use their television, their telepathic vision, and all about the ocean, the whale and the sea poem. In alternating currents or air conditioning, the Union Bridge, and that could be twin bridges as well. The Union Bridge, as um, they grieve total war, which is, again, this is letting go the wounded, the, ten, the Atlas energy of the Ten of Wands, letting go of the wounded warrior, which is the Nine of Wands, and then the Queen of Swords, letting go of being the war widow, right? Just becoming the light. So they're both becoming, coming into their light, the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords. Um, and then three wise men coming up here also seeking adventure and effort. So we also have to see SATV. So satellite TV is coming up as well. To be, to know, to tell the see, 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 right? See with your eyes, see with your heart, your emotions and the ocean, and then see with the sea of Christ and unity consciousness, the alternating currents of of um, the wise one, I, God, right? The lowercase I is the chakra system, but also like, you know, the I, Mac, the I, God, the twin um, is lost or regrets or in sadness, feeling that energies, but taking the high road in energetic exchange with the king of cups, unconditional love and seeking adventure and effort here. And effort came up twice here. Effort came up here in the underlying energy for the Tarot of Sexual Magic, and it also came up here in the numerology deck to make an effort. And it's very much of that childlike love. So the remainder, the sixth, was significant here, and the number six came up a couple times, to swim the sea, right? The sea of love came up yesterday and your emotions, the very deep ones, the telepathic vision and the eye of God. And the, the fig was coming up as the fig leaf in the Garden of Eden and the twins, um, the human embodiment of source at zero point with one tail. Expanding emotions with the number three, the Empress or Gaia, Mother Earth, Mother's Day, and the King of Cups, Unconditional love, seeking adventure and e effort or e-fort. Um, perhaps advertising to cover with the law or cow or bovine came up. Or no ban, like to advertise without a ban or a turban. So it's like the turban without the ban. No turn and walk, ride or fly. The E energy of energy and Elohim and effort today. The fast forward to the place or location to see what's left or what's left over. Also the lost V, I was just getting the Vatican coming up, but V for me is creation. Um, and the, the show Lost could be coming up as well. The lost V or creation, to be and to know the whale, so very much about Geppetto coming up with Pinocchio, um, to be, to know the whale, the fish and the sea, the breast and the womb of the mother the eye of God, right? The eye of Ra, the eye of God, the alternating currents on the union bridge to have union, the twins being one, grieving Gaia or mother and the master, the mastering of emotions, seeking adventure and making an effort here. So the, um, the end tour The end tour was coming up. The only word that was close to end tour was end turban, which means to cover with a turban, but without the ban, right? Because that's not part of the word. And then T-U-R-E means the law or bovine, the trail, the turn, the walk, the trip, the flip, the, ride, the flight, the ride, but flip just came up. And that came up with the greatest of ease with the circus and gymnastics and the beam coming up in the union read as well. So that energy coming up, but also the... Um, the, um, the pivot, that's the word I wanted to find. 
right? The twist the, where, where the shift happens because you're not willing to take what you're dealing with anymore and all of a sudden it shifts because you let it go. It also means to gaze at and also the, co the Kofor Dam, that's where it came up, the airtight underwater workplace that came up several times. The Kofor Dam and to forge or landslide and so the song landslide is coming up. Climb a mountain and turn around. And if you see my reflection in the snow-covered hills, oh, well, the landslide will bring it down. And that's interesting because I may be seeing some snow-covered hills in the near future. Um, all right, so as we get into, and also the fort, um, or ORT was coming up, that word. And where are you, Ort? Ort is a fragment, a scrap, the remainder, the refuse, the long, the gunpowder, the place or location, a veggie garden or sharp point. That's all about the Ort. So fast forward or making an effort towards these energies here whatever, to, to find what's left over, what is salvageable. We have 658, which is the lovers and the four of swords. The connection of the lovers in the 5D. The star seed is the first um, energy and the underlying energy here. And then below it five, and then we go forward five up here to make it a 21 card read, which is completion. We have the Page of Wands upright, the Five of Swords, the Queen of Cups, Two of Pentacles, and Page of Pentacles all upright, and then the Star Seed on top. The Page of Wands inspired to stretch and grow, to face their fears as the Queen of Cups juggles and performs and learns or has an opportunity to take a leap of faith. The Queen of Cups pushed to the limit, purged it all out, recovering from exile with the King of Cups reversed, performing to heal others in a twist of fate and the downturn performing and broke down, announcing to Hierophant, marriage, religion, establishment, or Taurus, lovers or Gemini reaping rewards of injustice of a sudden event and defenseless to the energies of disconnect or being at a distance of the Queen of Pentacles upright but under the radar. The Queen of Pentacles dipping their toe, but there's no water there, nothing to connect with or ground with, needing at least mud or failing first attempt. But she's unfazed at a distance under the radar. The Knight of Cups reversed and the Knight of Pentacles reversed, which came up together yesterday, but upright. Today they're reversed. Perhaps one's jealous and one is stuck. As death and dark night, ending in Scorpio, rules the waters, playing hardball or magnetizing, withholding or saving for a new life. The Knight of Pentacles reversed, perhaps without balls, and the dark night walking right over others, one hoof at a time. And kids may be distraught about this, seeing death for the very first time. Scorpio may be jealous and earth sign afraid and being called to make an effort. And beneath that was trust and have faith. Aries upright and Gemini and Scorpio upright with Libra reversed so far. Earth energy hiding and the Knight of Cups reversed sweetly judging the divine masculine as nearing completion and the world upside down the Divine Feminine in the 5D, or Pisces reversed, and Aquarius upright here. The Wounded Warrior telling their story to gain sympathy about synchronicities and fantasy, throwing out the book and the turtle being too slow to romance, talking about two goats in his pockets, or blocking him from moving or getting anything done. On the logs, with girl in his lap telling his story, singing my life with his words, or fantasizing about coming forward, with patience number two, which is the high priestess, and beneath it, self-discipline, which is 41, which is self-love, or is that 91? Let's see what that is. It's 41, yeah. So 41 is the Ace of Cups, self-love, spiritual love, new love. And then we have the Emperor reversed, the King of Swords reversed, are on this card of patience, but they're reversed. They're coming up as um, one as bashful or jealousy, and the other one sleepy or grumpy old men, right? 
So we have the seven dwarves coming up and grumpy old men. Frustrated knight of pentacles upright and powerless dependent. Capricorn or Pisces released in downturn and holding cards close to their chest. Chugging along, rolling down the river or river cruise or at the casino or races hedging their bets at 736, which is the chariot and the atlas energy of the ten of wands. Holding on, saving, being practical or more moderate with a big bomb dropped or a download to the crown. Under the radar, magnetizing fantasy patient or patience with self-discipline. The underlying energies of this read are issues at work in need of a loan perhaps and the king of pentacles wondering where he could access some funds. Going forward after the read will be coming up the energies of the page of pentacles. Moving or a visit running out of options in a split and needing the truth and grieving of or about grief, regret, and the fallen angel feeling guilt and shame about codependence, addiction, and or the ball and chain at 742, which is chariot and the two of cups. So powerless, dependent, or spendy kids, or making a big purchase, or inner children loving each other in a twist of fate, taking a gamble. And these could be kids taking a gamble too, right? Trying to put their money together or find a way to make some money, perhaps to buy something they want or to get a gift for somebody. Um, the recent past here is the Eight of Swords reversed. Released and happy, tempted by the Six of Cups and the High Priestess, looking back and inspired, right? So the Six of Cups can be loving inner children or outer children, hugging each other, and the High Priestess being that psychic knowing, um, being in your higher self being secretive, keeping things quiet, and or a Pisces as well. That can be Virgo or Aquarius as well for me. Looking back and inspired here. The Page of Wands and the Page of Cups are upright here. The Page of Wands is inspired and the Page of Cups is loving but on guard to the Hermit reversed and the Empress reversed or Virgo and Taurus both reversed, overworking or just not working out between them. Pisces and Capricorn are upright and Virgo and Taurus reversed here. The foundation is the Ace of Swords reversed, which is all about a split, a divide, a lie, a need for the truth or clarity in a situation, or a lack of victory here. Broken down and walked away in a split or lie as the Page of Pentacles has an idea or is researching with the Knight of Wands coming over directly from seeing the Empress reversed. Or the Empress reversed is picking up the Page of Pentacles from school with Cancer and Taurus reversed, perhaps Saggy upright here. The central energy here is the Two of Cups. I just got really sweaty and hot, which is masculine energy for me. Whew. The, the, um, so the Sagittarius may be that very masculine energy, right? They run in to save the day. The um, central energy here is the Two of Cups reversed, not seeing eye to eye or distant or not being able to see face to face, hanging out with the Queen of Swords reversed, who's drained, or with kids, pets, tired and out of control. And Aries strolls in. It's like Aries strolls in, wide awake and coming out, or just like, you know, everyone should pay attention to them all of a sudden. And then the Emperor reversed is awakened from his slumber. Or the Page of Cups and the Page of Wands are inspired to hang out, but the Queen of Swords reversed and kids or pets would be in their face like if someone wants to invite someone over, they're worried that the Queen of Swords would be in the, or would pop up out of nowhere, or the kids and, or pets would be in their face, and the fool could wander in at any time, like they own the place, all right? So this is somebody's concern about having a guest over or coming together with someone. The challenge being grief, loss, regret, guilt, or shame, and the past, unable to look up at the Two of Cups connection on one side, and the other side, plainly, they just can't see. We have um, the energy of the, the slave driver lashing out at the slave who's working too hard. The slave driver finding peace or traveling or taking slaves on a boat. And this is coming up around the world, right? So this is literally coming up as the slave driver taking slaves on a boat to another location to work. Okay, whether this comes up on a lower scale in your life as you feeling like you're being, you know, treated like a slave or it's literally what's happening around the world with the children and the barge, which we all know about in the Suez Canal. And then the Atlas getting weak, sick, 
tired or Leo, ego, and kids or pets out of control or tired and released or on the loose. The page of cups is disappointed, but fine in separation, um, getting out or sharing or settling out to move or visit or to buy or sell a house, letting go of a bit of money perhaps or things to fix things up, but perhaps ended up spending way more than they had planned or a dependent did or this could be, you know, money spent or money owed and had to be paid out, but it was much more than you were planning on. Recovering from money or health issues without help or vacation or any kind of loving, or Leo kids or pets taking off or taking a hike to the King of Cups reversed and the Ten of Cups upright family starting over released, but if they have nothing to offer or no gift to bring, there's no love being returned here from those recovering via the Knight of Wands' rescue efforts. So now here's the Page of Swords reversed, and I'm feeling stressed now. Somebody's nervous or stressed out about something, worried about something. The Page of Swords reversed is bad news and or a mouthy kid, right? They could just have, they could be one who won't shut up, or they could have, you know, a bad mouth, or they could be lying or spying. Um, and this can be a child or it can be a, an adult acting like a child as well. And bad news bears comes up here. Grieving, sad, wanting to be alone. The king of pentacles reversed and the knight of swords reversed. Or with two kids at each other. Death and dark knight and transition. With the queen of pentacles reversed, fallen angel or impatient. Or Sagittarius reversed is impatient to be emotionally fulfilled or to have that happy family or that happy ending. Okay, so there's two different energies. The Queen of Pentacles reversed, maybe impatient, or fallen angel, or there's two people here of Sagittarius and the Queen of Pentacles, but both are reversed, being very impatient, wanting what they want, their emotional fulfillment or their happy ending, either way. The Page of Swords reversed, broke, broken, broken down, broke up, broke in or broke through, Cancer, perhaps someone may have been overrated or overexposed in radiation or chemo, perhaps, or just a cancer person being overrated or overexposed, and that can be sunburn. And the Six of Cups memories, perhaps looking at pictures of way back when. The King of Wands is upright. How it's like looking back at memories of when the King of Wands used to howl at the moon, or when Cancer was um, upright or clear and starting over in energetic exchange and arrows of love. At 807, which is the strength card and the chariot, when things changed with the emperor reversed in the nightmare, failing to end the pain or under the radar pain in the butt and the queen of wands reversed depressed, needing closure of the queen of wands re or the queen of wands reversed with, Sag with um, the queen of wands reversed with Aquarius reversed and Pisces reversed or healing needed around the world in a passionate exchange in a split, and that could be the two world split coming up as well, and need, in need for the truth is jealous rage in a nightmare marriage, religion, establishment, or Taurus. And that can reference the, it can be referenced as a two or three world split, right? Because we have the polarity split and then the merged split, those who are merged into both. We have soon here the Three of Pentacles reversed, the issues at work, working so hard, fighting for third party, Hermit reversed, or Queen of Pentacles, pulling in injustice with the Page of Swords reversed, rumors of the Queen of Cups, who's moving to peace, or the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups are traveling together, and the Hermit's coming out too, perhaps, once they can get out of bad influences or a bad situation. The Twin Flames here... Um, I was just getting someone having pain in the in the left side, like around the heart area, but maybe not the heart, maybe below the heart. Um, that could be like the over radiation or over chemo, something like that. I'm coming up, someone having something like that. The twin flames with the queen of wands reversed in their energy and the wounded warrior making a judgment call or an announcement or a wake up call or advertising or multiple calls to make the page of swords reversed bad news or rumors about disconnect or being at a distance 
or no options, overworking, not working and frustrated, not aroused or not finding humor or reaping the rewards of their savings and daydreaming and or the divine feminine's heart. Aquarius fire and earth coming up here. Calling in your soulmate and this could be the one and soulmate also comes up here for the twin flames. The wounded warrior, the queen of wands reversed and the page of swords reversed may be at each other. So the two of them, the queen of wands and the page of swords could be at each other's throats. And that could just be her message as well, right? That could be two to three, one to three people actually. The queen of wands can be the wounded warrior and be sending out negative messages. Or this could be three different people, a fire sign, wounded warrior, who's different than the queen of wands, fire sign reversed. And then the page of swords could be a child who's got air sign qualities or they're mouthing off or being, um, or lying or giving you the silent treatment, any of those kind of energies. But whoever they are, they may be at each other. Around the twins are how they're seen is the reason card reversed, which is no reason or no logic, the emperor reversed, with issues at work, with lover, defenseless, and that can be affections as well, defenseless to energies or refusing to defend themselves. The Ten of Pentacles, family, business, or community, legacy, or the world, with new information and perhaps ganging up on the emperor reversed and or his lover or Gemini upright and Aries reversed here. Or the emperor reversed with financial issues at work and the lover's family perhaps has a lot of money here and using it to try to control them. The block here is the king of cups reversed who may be, the king of cups reversed may be emotionally unavailable. Um, he could be de very detached personality. Um, which is the negative trait of the King of Cups, because otherwise he'd be the King of Swords, which he's not. He's the King of Cups here. So it's a negative trait here. And then we have, um, that could be someone who's over emotional and perhaps drinks as well, but they're coming up reversed here as the block. The injustice of Libra reverse being attacked and stolen from. So feeling like they're being attacked from both sides or the King of Cups reversed does attack Libra reversed. And this is the block or the fear that the King of Cups reverse will attack the Libra reverse energy or the injustice. So their energy or ideas will then transfer. It's like energy stealing where you, you piss, get someone triggered so that then another person can receive their energy. It's like the uh, King of Cups would attack the Libra so that their energy ideas will transfer to the Queen of Pentacles with Virgo in their chart or with a parent or hermit reverse who may have mental issues or dementia, that kind of thing. So effort comes up here and adventure, um, but even more so to follow your dreams. The King of Swords reversed, uh, pushing a girl out of his way while being watched no more. So no longer being watched and trying to, you know, like pushing girls away from him so he can't be uh, caught doing something inappropriate. It's like being watched for that, that's no longer happening. So um, getting their wish, planning a new life, or getting money after jealous explosion happened, seeing synchronicities or something that blew their mind, their top, their cover, their crown, unable to alchemize, ending the nightmare with Taurus religion establishment or marriage or tradition, or no longer, as I lose my voice of speaking up, the need to speak their truth, no longer an island to themselves or refusing to burst through the threshold as the Knight of Wands with a slow burn, the Capricorn temptation of magician embodiment with all tools on board. So the fallen angel may be feeling guilty here for being tempted by the devil. Okay, so two fallen angels in a sense there. Perhaps a pyramid scheme is coming up for sure. And a fresh start or someone's crown just burst wide open in a split or lie of the Queen of Wands reversed and the Emperor reversed without reason, released from a partnership and challenged by grief as I'm still having trouble with my voice, all right? I'm still blocked in my voice. The challenge being grief with issues at work, with the King of Cups reversed and the Page of Swords reversed, withholding funds, not patient or starting over, needing courage and strength of the Knight of Wands shadow at 829, which is strength and the dance, and the 29 of being, you know, can be waiting for your ships to come in, but it's also being present in the moment, knowing that you don't have to wait, right? Be, just be present in every moment. 
So we have four negative energies here. The challenge being grief with issues at work with the King of Cups reversed, the Page of Swords reversed, withholding funds. After we just brought up the Queen of Wands reversed and the Emperor reversed. And they're like all different signs. Starting over, needing courage and strength of the Knight of Wands is shadow. It's like being able to use your shadow for something good, like transmuting it to make it something good. Um, I watched The Whole Truth, the movie last night, so The Whole Truth and Nothing But the Truth is coming up here. And also there was a movie about a serial killer where the father ended, the, like the nice father ended up being the serial killer, which is very polarized, right? Very sad as well. And actually the son at the end saying, you know, I love you, dad, even though he, and you know, was, I'm not going to tell you the end, but uh, it was very sad. Um, the Page of Wands and the Queen of Cups and the Page of Pentacles stretching and juggling and surrendering to downloads to the crown or the big bomb that was dropped on them, released with little money or keeping their cards close to their chest or just holding on, right? Dealing with a split or divide, needing the truth in a division of partnership or property. And the challenge being grief and the page of swords reversed, whether it's negative news, spying or lying, rumors or negative self-talk, or a child who's being mouthy um, with rumors and the Queen of Wands reversed causing issues at work and the Emperor reversed and the King of Cups reversed withholding funds here. Now they're withholding funds, no longer patient or losing patience, starting over but weak or kids, Leo or pets are out of control and the Knight of Wands is to the rescue as usual, which here comes up as the codependency at 833 to 34, which is the Christ vibration and the 34 of the Eight of Wands, the Arrows of Love, but also that big energetic exchange back and forth of communication, travel, or energy. And now we are going to pull a few Oracle cards. All right, so actually I want to start today with the Lenormand deck. Let's see what comes up. Pull out that book too. All right, so it's the Gilded Reverie Lenormand. They definitely have energies in this deck that aren't in, the, in any of the other decks. So I want to see what comes up from this deck today. Today being May 9th, 2021. Okay. Okay, 28, the man here, the Ace of Cups. The twin ace of cups, all right? So that's definitely the divine masculine. And then the 17 is coming up here with the two storks, which is all about twos. So let's see what these two say. Oh, and then we have, oh, then we have a puppy in the house. And there's the feminine over there with the key to the house. Wow, wasn't expecting that. Oh, and then the next one is number 28 again. So he opens. I'm going to show you how this came out. So he opens with the number 28 as the masculine ace of hearts. Then we have the 17 of the storks, two of them, which is about pairs, and the queen of cups, which is today's energy. We have the ace of cups and the queen of cups. And then the puppy, the loyalty of the 18 of the moon, and the 10 which is of hearts, which is emotional fulfillment. And then the house of the king of cups. Wow, all cups, you guys. The King of Cups, Unconditional Love, and the Four of the Emperor, and the 29 of being present with this energy of the Ace of Spades with the Truth, and the Key to the Cage, and the Key to the House, the 33 of the Christ Vibration, and the Emerald Order came up today as well, and then the 28 again. So the two masculine energies of number 28 both came up, and both being the Ace of Cups, perhaps two sides of himself. So let's see what that first card is at least. So this could be, you know, in a negative or positive sense, it could be um, splitting up a property because, right, you're dealing with a couple and a pet and a house and keys. It can be a coming together, of, like, it could be a like division of assets, but it can be a coming together as well. But it's all very heart-based here. So the 28, and I have to read you both because we started and finished with the 28. 
which is the twins as well, the two of wands, the two flames. So man number one, I could be you, the reader, or the male subject of your reading, or the male partner of the significator. The significator for the male sitter, or the significant other of a male sitter, or the same gender relationship. An elegant looking man sits upon his chair holding a red rose. Now that's the last one. The first one is the man two. This option, the second man card in the reverie, might be used to provide a specific reference for a reading or serve for a same-sex relationship or provide a choice that might, be, might better represent the personality of the male subject of the reading. In the second version, a strong-looking man wears a red cloak, his bare chest showing a masculine Mars symbol on a pendant. He looks to the right of the card and appears determined and passionate. The card is lit with a golden background that communicates essential power. And by the way, I rolled the die yesterday and Mars came up here. Mars, Six, and Capricorn. And here he's coming up as very being in his Mars. And then man number two is, is at the end, right? Here's and man number two is first and then man number one is over here, but they're both the Ace of Cups. This is showing that Mars empowerment. And then man number one comes up at the end here which says an elegant looking man sits upon a chair holding a red rose. He appears to be waiting, awaiting his companion. In the background, a window lights the scene, which is otherwise unadorned. It speaks of waiting, of patience and quiet endurance. There is a sensitivity to the scene that communicates the nature of romance. He looks to the left of the card. Okay. So here is where he start, he, here is where he's starting out in the warrior energy of Mars about the two, and I could read this one too, of the storks and the, the loyalty here, or perhaps assets here, dealing with the puppy and who's gonna get the puppy and the house. But this is also coming up as the emperor in control, the stars and the moon, and then the 29, going from the 28 to the 29, but you notice her counterpart is this male over here behind her, okay? And there's the key to the heart over here with the Christ vibration. He's looking back at her, but she's looking back at him. And are they the same person? Is he the same person? Or are there two different men here? It could be both. So she may be looking at his old self when now he's become this person, which is her actual match. So before he didn't match because he was in his Mars warrior energy, and now he is matching her, but she's still looking back. Or this is someone... Um, coming out of a relationship or going into a relationship, right? Either two separate men or that he's a changed man, okay? That's definitely the energy coming up there. All right, let's see what the animal deck says. And I'm going to re-roll the die for you too. Let's do that now. So again, we had Mars, number six, and Capricorn that I rolled when I did the read yesterday. So what's coming up for you now? Okay, we have the Sun, Seven, and Libra. Okay, Sun, Libra, and the number seven. Okay, seven is the calm before the storm, the going within, the moment before, and Libra is very much that uh, balancing, and then the Sun, which is empowering, giving you the energy. The energy to bounce, balance. I just saw the deer as I was shuffling, as I saw the four de deer across the, ha across the street from my house this morning. <sighs> okay, from the spirit animal deck, let's see what's going on for the twins. Twin flames, twin flames. The butterfly, I saw that too, the transformation. So big transformation at hand here. And we're just seeing the transformation of the masculine. And there's a lizard here too who may be looking the other way. They're going in opposite directions. And then we have the hawk. So the bottom of the deck here is the whale, which I brought up in the read today. So it's very much about the deep ocean blue. All right, what's underneath the whale? Let's see, underneath the whale, which of course is water, is the elephant, very powerful, right? This is the commander of the ocean. This one's the commander of the land. You can't get more powerful than this. They're taking over now. The elephant and the whale. 
Oh, and we talk about the feminine is the ocean, the masculine is the land. Here's the elephant and the whale coming to work as one together. And there's the dragonfly of the two of them coming together and making love, right? Because they make the heart when the dragonflies come together. I've talked about that before. Very powerful energies there of land and sea. And then the butterfly of, of full transformation with the lizard, which they're looking in opposite directions. It's very interesting because this butterfly, normally you'd see the butterfly is the most colorful, but here the lizard's more colorful than the butterfly. And I'm getting like the bumblebee too, like without the wings, this looks like a bumblebee who's kind of tuckered out. They're really tired from flying. <laughs> it's really heavy to, to fly yourself around when you're a bumblebee. <laughs> but here's, but this is the butterfly, not the bee. Maybe they have an identity issue here. They think they're a bee, but they're a butterfly. They don't understand why they all of a sudden have these new wings. <laughs> and then here's the lizard looking the other way at the hawk, who's also looking the other way. And then there's two more cards that came out separately from these two. So these two are distract. This one is working on their own transformation. These two are distracted. Look, you know, they're going after something, right? And that's the cosmic egg and the beaver. <laughs> Okay, so let's see, why are these guys going after the beaver while the butterfly is working on being transformed? And it's like these two getting tired of, of bugging the butterfly or waiting for them to change, right? They're going from the caterpillar to the butterfly. These two got tired of, of their change or maybe they don't like their changes, so they leave. So they either got tired or they don't like the new changes and they're leaving. And they're headed towards now the energy of the cosmic egg and the beaver to leave the butterfly alone so they can figure out who they are. So let's see here. The butterfly. We all know the butterfly is about transformation. Let's see what it says other than that here. And the, I love that the elephant and the whale came up. That's huge. Right? One controls the land, one controls the sea in the animal kingdoms. Where are you, butterfly? There we are. Undergoing great change and transformation. The energy of the butterfly is with us during periods of transition. Since air is the element of the heart, this change usually involves relationships, or if you love your job, perhaps your career. Since transition is accompanied by the same amount of discomfort, be extra patient and kind during this time, especially if the butterfly is you. Let solid friends and activities support you like a cocoon, committing to one daily routine, a meal, practice, or prayer, done at the same time and place, will do wonders, same time, wait, the same place and time will do wonders for lifting the butterfly's spirit. So getting some kind of regimen or, or habit to make you feel more stabilized. So when the butterfly is in balance, they're cheerful and graceful, but when they're out of balance, they're fragile and frustrated to bring back into balance a daily routine. So that's coming up. I mean, obviously they look off the butterfly in this picture. So they need to find stability again, which they're saying to use routine. So why is the lizard walking away with the hawk? So let's see what the lizard says. Now lizard is fire here. All right, lizard, where are you? Lizard is instinctual, sensitive, and subtle dreamer. The lizard is an expert in the realm of sensory perception. As if it has a sixth sense, the lizard hears what is not yet spoken and sees what is yet to manifest. Although this is an amazing gift, it, it can easily wear the lizard down. Big crowds, lots of travel, or overstimulation will drain a lizard of their magical essence. This card is an indication to pull back from the bright lights of the butterfly and big city and return to the inner artist who's been whispering your name. So they are artistic, telepathic, and spiritual. When out of balance, they're elusive and noncommittal and flaky, and they need to create a creative project to get back in balance again. 
So, you know, the, the butterfly is being called for stability and they're looking for a creative project. So two different things, right? This is more stagnant and this is more open, you know, creativity, doing something new. And I, I suspect the hawk is opening to something new as well in that realm, obviously different than the lizard and more expanded. And um, the hawk is more um, air oriented as opposed to fire down here. They want to be free. So lizard needs creativity, the hawk needs to be free, and the butterfly needs more stability or routine and structure. So they are going their separate ways. As the whale and the elephant are grounding our reading here, they're grounding it for everyone. They're coming to the front to like hold the fort down, okay? And that's again, the ocean meeting the land. And then we have the cosmic egg, which is really significant. That's a spiritual card. And then the beaver, he's just kind of nosing around. <laughs> And that's water energy, right? The beaver deals with the land and the water. So even though they're just a little guy, they are very familiar and adept with land and water coming together to assist in the cosmic egg. So let's read the cosmic egg. Land meets sea is the big theme here. And the cosmic egg. Completion, harmony, the infinite within the finite. The cosmic egg is the final card in the journey of the animal spirit deck, and it represents the unfolding of cosmic consciousness. So again, this is also the completion of the world, right? The cycle. The state emerges after we tread the path for quite some time, and through self-effort and grace, we experience self-realization. A sense of contentment and oneness spontaneously arises within us, and the veils of our self-limiting beliefs are lifted. When the essence of the cosmic egg has not been activated, we may feel as if we will never get there or that we travel alone, disconnected from others. Even if our encounter with this card is brief, appearing as a momentary glimmer or a flash of interconnectedness, its potent energy stays with us. The cosmic egg is a remedy for the fragmentation of modern life. It's through the power of this card that we are reminded of the cosmic contract written at the beginning. We hold on to life and life holds on to us. The journey is complete, but it, is, it does not end. And here's coming up like a picture of like the double eights, right? The dance of the eight and the dance of the eight, the infinity and the finite. So the cosmic egg is uh, obviously related to the seventh chakra because that's the way they're ordered here. The subtle essence of the cosmic egg resides at the crown chakra at the top of the head called Sahasrara. One of the aims of yoga and meditation practice is to channel energy from the base of the spine upward towards that chakra. Each of the six lower chakras plays an important role along this journey. And once the final epicenter of consciousness is activated, it is said to radiate the light of a million suns. And we just, you know, I just posted that picture of the rainbow bridge around the sun. So it's kind of like that energy of completion. It's very profound. Okay. And one more card for you from the journey of love, which you know my cards never end up being one, but we'll see. It's 12.43 on the clock. And it's just before the hour at 58, 20, 21, 22, which is the four of swords and the judgment, the world, and then going into the new cycle of the 20, 22 of the fool, taking a leap of faith. 12.43 is the hangman and the three of cups coming together, hanging out and coming together. All right, so from the journey of love, came right up, the guardian of the family. This came up the other day too. And we have knowing without knowing, using your abilities, self-love, spiritual love, new love with the 41. The 26 is the, um, the page of wands, the inspiration, the child, right? That new seed. But it also came up uh, in astrology as a, a, a planetary alignment that's coming up. It's 26 degrees, so I forget what that is. So you might want to check with an astrologer. Um, but that's coming up too. So we have the inspiration of the new seed, the dawning of the new day, the being at zero point in the very green and earthy energies and knowing without knowing in self-love, spiritual love, and new love. And this one last card wants to be seen with that, which is heaven, which is the final card of the deck. This is just confirming that. You have two decks where the final card came up. Heaven on earth, which is 70, which is the two of pentacles, right? Juggling. It's also the, the eight, the dance of the eight, the performance, right? Staying balanced, 
doing that balancing act. And that's heaven on earth, right? Staying in balance. Love, truth, balance. And justice for all. Okay, so the bottom of the deck. Then we have hidden beauties popping itself up too. 45 is the grieving process, right? And that's very gray in there. And then bottom of the deck is 53, which came up before, is the messenger of truth and the catapult of the projectile vomit and the legacy of light. So let's, it's the light coming through. It's pushing out the dark. And the mother prays, the 15 of the shadow side of the mother, but also the praying mantis, right? Who bites off the head of the other. Or this can be re involving ET mantis beings, which I actually met a mantis being once. And they do have more of a harsh energy, but they are very intelligent and kind. So, I mean, use your own discernment. But again, that energy is coming up. And also this comes up with signs and symbols and music. And we have all of the colors of the upper chakras. And this is more lower chakra oriented. You're being called to ground here with the catapult. Ground the light. To be the mother. So the grounding is the mother because earth is the mother. But also this mother's coming up as the, you know, the upper chakra mother. As opposed to the grounded one. So it's like bringing the upper and lower chakras together of the mother, mother earth. But I also get this as the Jesus energy. Right? Holding the light. Holding space. And beneath those is God Speaks. So we're going to read, again, The Guardian of the Soul Family, number 26. Um, you're being drawn to kindred spirits in this physical world by loving guardians in the spirit, spiritual worlds. If you feel you're leaving relationships behind, do not be afraid. The space that such courageous action creates is sometimes necessary in order to have room for the new to enter your sphere of consciousness. You may also feel that somehow a relationship that seemed to be held back from you is now becoming available to you. There is a great soul love calling you into more intimate connection now. It is sanctioned by the divine. It is a karmic destiny to fulfill. There is love that you are to experience in connection with particular souls, predetermined by the divine plan. If you're struggling to feel the soul purpose in your current relationships, take heart for you're being helped by the divine guardians who understand and support the sacred purpose of your relationships. Be open to current relationships healing whether that means improved communication and enriched experience or the realization that you have traveled as far as you can together and know that, this new, that new relationships are going to be an important aspect of your spiritual destiny being fulfilled. Trust in the divine timing of your life and open your heart to the guardians who will help you with unconditional love now. The, gu the guidance of this oracle for you is that relationship healing is taking place in present relationships unfolding in attracting the right relationships for your future growth and in leaving behind relationships of the past with a peaceful heart. Be gentle with your heart, beloved. All is well. When I open my heart, you cover me with a blanket of love and warm the silence with your caress. Words unspoken say it all as we become more than we are alone. Remember to drink your water, get your rest, get your joy, and get your nature, and be so good to yourselves. And as always, rise and be loved. Bye.